Good afternoon. Progress, eh? Progress. Yes, I mean, we have to move away from these dual inline packages, which actually fit on breadboards, to uh, the more modern thing, surface mount. So uh, I've bought surface mount chips because, well, that's what you do, isn't it? So here are my surface mount chips. These are HCT138. Let's put one on this uh, little adapter board because, of course, surface mount won't fit directly onto breadboard and I like breadboard so that fits on there really quite well let's have a closer look so yeah we maneuver that uh, into position kind of like that uh, solder the legs onto this little board and this board will fit on a breadboard yeah jobs are good and so here's another chip this is a simple HC153 uh, oh what's going on here that one's wider. That one's a lot wider and actually won't fit on this little adapter board because there isn't enough um, sticky outy pad to actually sit this chip down. This chip's small outline, same as that one, but it's, the, it's not the same size. It's wider. Now I've also got um, a 20 pin um, board here which will take a small outline 20 pin chip and um, it's different it's got a different pitch across the width this little 16 pin one is um, 500 mils or five tenths of an inch this 20 pin one is 600 mils or six tenths of an inch however this chip will fit on that board with plenty of space either side to um, solder the pins on so i'm going to have to look out now for some uh, 16 pin boards which are a little bit wider than these boards uh, six tenths of an inch rather than five tenths of an inch for my slightly wider sop chips what's going on why isn't sop sop right wikipedia small outline integrated circuit so that's soik uh, not sop but uh, i think it's the same uh, surface mount integrated circuit which occupies an area 30 to 50 percent less than an equivalent dual in line package that's a good thing ah now we have uh, JEDEC and EIAJ standards SOIC actually refers to at least two different package standards oh here we go look the EIAJ SOIC body is approximately 5.3 millimeters wide while the JEDEC, JEDEC SOIC body is 3.8 millimeters wide oh great and uh, here we have narrow soik, the JEDEC one, and the width we're interested in. I mean, I'm really interested in the width um, from the tip of the pin to the tip of the pin, this WL. So soik 16N, uh, N for narrow, and WL is between 5.8 and 6.2 millimeters, so about 6 millimeters. But then there's wide soik, and that one is 8.07 millimeters. Oh, there are two soik types. Now, one thing that is common to all the soiks um, is the pin pitch. So that's the pitch between the center of uh, two adjacent pins. And it's 1.27 millimeters. So that's half of a tenth of an inch. That's a twentieth of an inch. Um, and that's indeed what these little boards have. Uh, there we are. Look, it says on there 1.27 millimeters. And of course, that refers to the distance between two adjacent pins. They've all got 1.27 seven millimeters written on but these all say sop they don't say soik uh, so as well as narrow soik and wide soik we also have m soik there's also sodg what sodg that's this thing here with the j-shaped uh, leads which sort of sit underneath the package uh, then there's sop after soik came a family of smaller form factors small outline package sop with pin spacings less than 1.27 millimeters. Oh, well then these are not really SOPs, are they? They're SOICs. Uh, right, so after SOP, we've got S SOP, which is a shrink small outline. Then you've got T SOP, thin small outline. And then of course you've got TS SOP, the thin shrink small outline. So uh, call me old school, but uh, I'm not very, keen on surface mount i prefer dip because dip fits on a breadboard breadboard without these uh, little adapter boards being needed and of course with dip packages there's only one width isn't there 
Oh, well, maybe there are two wits. Cheerio.